guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing another Ratty Box. Now, Ratty Box is a rat subscription service that you get each month. It costs about 30 bucks, and you get five to six different items for your rats. Uh, things like treats, uh, chew toys, ropes, hammocks, huts, tents, and so forth. So just a lot of really fun stuff. And I'm going to be reviewing November 2023's Ratty Box. Uh, but before I get into it, I just wanted to mention that if you'd like a Ratty Box of your own, you can find it on therattybox.com. And I will have that website linked down below in the description. So go ahead and check them out if you're interested. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into reviewing Ratty Box. So to start, we have, of course, the infamous tissue paper, which the rats like to tear up and I'll put it in their cage. So I'll put that aside. Uh, and then next up, we have this cute little card, which as you can see, is just the theme of this Ratty Box. I forgot to mention, but they often do themes in Ratty Box. So you'll have like a bunch of items that look super cute together. Uh, and I think this one is the sweet treat. And this one's theme is the sweet treats theme. What the heck are you doing, Blueberry? Now getting into the box itself, uh, first up, we have this little chew toy. Um, this one is shaped like a little pizza. You can see it's called the Ratty Box Boggles Chew. Uh, this is a little chew toy made out of, it looks like loofah, and my rats absolutely love loofah, so I'm very excited to see this. This is super adorable. We've gotten quite a few different themed chews in various Ratty Boxes. We've never gotten the pizza one so far, but we've gotten so many different cute ones, like sandal-shaped ones or starfish-shaped ones, just so many cute little chews. And I know my rats are absolutely going to love this because they've loved all the other loofah chews we've gotten. Uh, and it's just such a cute shape. I mean, this is just too adorable. So I'm going to put this aside and go for the next item. So the next item here are some treats, which of course are the rat's favorite part. No, let's open this up. Whoa, one second, one second. Patience, please. Okay, okay. Patience, patience. Okay, there we go. So. As you can see, this has some diced dates and oats and rice flour and rolled oats. All things the rats really like and all things they're definitely going to enjoy. Come here, Raisin. Raisin. Raisin, come get your treat. There you go. Hey, hey, you just took one of Olive's treats. <laughs> now, of course, they all run off to hide their treat. But yeah, Ratty Box treats are always a big hit with my rats. They always give you some sort of really tasty treat. Um, oftentimes, it's something they package themselves like this, and it will be some sort of naturalistic treat, like, you know, oats or uh, dates or other dried fruit or seeds or nuts or a variety of different things. Um, but they also do occasionally do commercial treats, and those have also always been a hit. Uh, in particular, they once did this sweet potato one, which my rats really enjoyed. So I can definitely say that this is one of my rats favorite parts uh, about getting Ratty Box because they always get some sort of yummy treat. Here you go. Yeah, it's yummy. It's so yummy, isn't it? Here you go. So I will go ahead and put those aside. Okay, so next up we have this little feeding dish. So this is what it looks like. Uh, as you can see, it's a little metal dish that just goes into this little holder and this attaches to the cage bars. And this is really nice because it means it's super easy to refill your rat's food. You just pop this out, put some food in it and put it back in its little thingy. And it's actually kind of funny because I have two other ones of these and both of them came from Ratty Box and I use them so much. Uh, so I'm definitely excited to see another one in Ratty Box and I can't wait to put this in the cage. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that aside. So next up, Next up, we have this cute little tunnel. As you can see, it's absolutely adorable and Olive loves it. <laughs> Figures the three-year-old rat would love it. <laughs> Guys, where did everyone else go? Why are you all eating your treats? <laughs> Olive's like, nope, I'm the star of the show. You are the star, Olive. That's so sweet. But yeah, this is a super cute little donut tunnel. As you can see, it has a very soft inside, which the rats absolutely love. And it has this really cute donut outside. So definitely very excited to put this in the cage because I think it looks super cute. And the rats seem to really love these T-shaped tunnels. So I'm very excited to see another one in Ratty Box. Uh, we've never gotten this patterned one in particular, but we have gotten a few other ones that the rats have really loved. Uh, so like I said, I'm very happy to see this in there. And I can't wait to put that in the cage. Okay, so... Finally, <laughs> we have my favorite item, which is always the large special item in the group, because as you can see, this is a giant cupcake. Look at it. 
Oh my god, it's amazing! Oh, it's so cute! So pretty much every time you get Ratty Box, they'll give you one of these really cool hides. Uh, and it's always a different one. I mean, I've been reviewing Ratty Box for like... Oh my god, it's almost been three years, maybe? Holy heck, it's been a long time. But nearly every single time I've gotten Ratty Box, they've pretty much always given me a different hide. Uh, whenever they give a hide, it's always different. They never repeat it. And when they don't give a hide, then they'll give you something like a hammock set. So it's still really awesome. But I really love the hides in particular. And this one is so cute. Look at it. Oh my god, it's adorable. Uh, and the nice thing about these hides is not only are they super soft and cozy inside and just amazing for the rats, but in addition to that, they also have these little cushions inside and these can be removed, which means that you can easily wash the cushion and not have to wash the rest of the hide as much because the rats are going to inevitably mark the cushion more than everything else. So yeah, that is just a really cool little thing about the hides and I just really love these hides in general because they're so cute. Uh, and I always have a hard time putting them in the cage because I don't want the rats to tear them up. I just want to take photos with them. Uh, but I will eventually put it in the cage because my rats really love these. And they always sleep in them a ton uh, before eventually, unfortunately, tearing them up. But usually we have a while before that happens, thankfully. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this Ratty Box review. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the fun stuff in this month's Ratty Box. And if you have rats of your own and you'd like to check it out for yourself, then you can go to therattybox.com which again will be linked in the description and in the comments. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this month's Ratty Box. Uh, again, I hope you guys enjoyed the review and I hope you enjoyed getting to see all the rats. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.